Hi, Leslie. I got a lot out of your video about empaths and relationships where you sort of parse out connection, relationship, and inner world. That's on YouTube if you want to go watch that. My question has two parts. Number one, how do you efficiently go about finding out if you're compatible with someone you have a strong connection with or with on a relationship level in all the areas that you listed? Example, life goals, communication, etc. before you've invested in someone emotionally because it can be awkward to straight up ask someone a ton of very personal questions before you have that level of comfort with someone. But what should one look for to ask or to figure this out? And she adds a little bit of clarification at the end. What I mean um, is that if you know you have a strong connection with someone, but you're trying to figure out if you also have a good relationship potential with someone and that you aren't just in a fantasy world, this is a great question. So we'll do the first part first. So the answer to this question, thank you so much for asking it. We're differentiating in that previous video that sometimes we'll meet people, especially when you're a sensitive, empathic person yourself, and you'll just feel like, oh God, I just have such a connection with this person. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have a deep relationship compatibility, which is more grounded in the physical world and the reality of attachment and life goals and how you relate to someone. The answer to this, which you might not like, is the real way that we do this is that we take it slow. Now, what that means has a couple of levels. And I remember being in my late 20s, early 30s, and I was really struggling with relationship with men. I was seeing myself repeat these patterns. I was seeing that I had some major blind spots. And an older male mentor said to me, Leslie, there is no more strike while the iron is hot. So what he was trying to say, which was very helpful for me, is part of this feeling of connection and also part of our trauma around relationship can make it so we get this feeling, we get a mind story that says, I just have to dive in, this is it, let's jump through all those other things first. So essentially the way out of this pattern is that you put yourself in a protective, healthy, framework, which means you make up certain rules for yourself about taking it slow. What that means is number one, you get more comfortable with courtship. So you start just dating as a practice. You go on dates, you hang out, you ask questions about what the person likes and wants in their life goals while you're having dinner and having fun hanging out. What this also means, point two, you know where I'm probably heading, is it means holding off and taking it slow on physical closeness, making out, and sex. Here's the thing. If you are in especially a female body in this lifetime, your hormones, especially around making out and orgasm, are meant for connection. When a female body has an orgasm, it produces a lot of oxytocin, which is a bonding hormone. So even at the level of sort of heavy petting, making out, your body will produce neurochemicals that will make whomever you are getting hot and heavy with look like a prince no matter what, and it will block your discernment. So I'm not making a moral comment here on sexual relationship like outside of marriage. That's a different topic. But what I am saying is, if you want to really make sure that you've gone through the discernment stage, that you have your eyes as wide open as possible, you need to one, get comfortable with courtship and dating, and two, hold way off. I would say at least three months of seeing this person, being in their world, and communicating that you are really interested in a long-term relationship. That doesn't mean like, don't talk about sex. It's still open and available to have that as part of the conversation. Tell someone that you find them attractive. Say that you're looking forward to it if that is something that we're on track for. So you don't have to ignore sex as a topic. It's part of human relationship and bonding, but you also want to bring into the mix what you're really looking for, and I. I assure you that the person who is really in it to win it with you will see and walk with you along the way. So I hope you loved this video and found it valuable. If you did, please do hit that like and subscribe button. That helps us send out our message to as many people as possible.
I am on a mission to help empaths, healers, and highly sensitive people release the trauma trapped in their body without decades more of therapy so that you really can live your life on purpose with true confidence. You are a soul with a body and you deserve great things. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.